Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer. I don't want to deal with this. Frankly, the only thing I want to introduce to this is to put a round through Burnham's skull. Unfortunately, I am being denied that. She's about as good as the Borg are. And I mean the collective, not the cooperative. The cooperative are actually nice people. She nearly put a bomb underneath a volcano. No, she is not a good person. She's an idiot. A malevolent one at that. Looks like the Excalbians are ready to resume the trials. As you know, our participation is required, whether we like it or not. Under the circumstances, keeping them waiting isn't wise. Oh. Well, this is something interesting. And about the only reason I'm even going to do it. Getting my hands on a freaking axe. Great. The judge that's about as impartial as a nuke. We have seen many things in the trials. Your actions have given us much to consider, but we require more data. You can remove yourself from the trials if you so desire. I believe you are aware of the consequences such an action will bring. That's it. Exterminatus. That's the only solution for this godforsaken place. Destroy everything. It may not be the Starfleet way to do it, but honestly... You're not worth it. Then, if you wish to proceed, the portal awaits. The next trial lies this way. Ugh. This is ridiculous. This is incredible. The architecture, the technology, the art. It's not like anything I've ever seen before. Where are we? Iconia. The Excalvians have dropped us into another planetary assault by the look of things. There's a battle site ahead. We might be able to learn more about our surroundings by examining it. bunch of aliens and what looks like a single herald. Fascinating. According to my tricorder, these soldiers are from extinct species. The Dinosians and the Ichabar. <sighs> you really have no right to say that. Just as if you have no right to be even involved, even remotely linked to Spock. 
If this is the fall of Iconia, we might be able to stop the chain of events that eventually lead to the war. Considering the previous trials, I can see that as the pivotal event we were sent here to encounter. And more criticism from Yarnak. That last hit wasn't far from here. You can have heavy gunfire nearby. Keep your weapons handy. More fighting ahead. Wait. Are those Iconians? Iconian pets. Kill them! Let them die with their master! Well, at least Sila's not here to ruin everything. I am Taket of Iconia. You are not known to us. Halt and identify yourself. I do not recognize your species. But you have taken up arms to defend Iconia. That makes you an ally, and your assistance is appreciated. You have my thanks. I am called Lemirin. My thanks to you as well, newcomers. Our situation is quite dire. Mtara, our leader, has fallen. Iconia will soon be lost to our enemies. We must withdraw. We were trying to reach a nearby gateway when those soldiers attacked. Their reinforcements could arrive at any moment. Will you help us once again? It's not like I have a choice in the matter, do I? Orbital attack. The warfare of cowards. <laughs> oh, that's rich coming from the chat. They kill. I will take a hundred of theirs. For each Iconian, a thousand. All of this. The loss they must feel. And the anger. The unjustified anger. You know, I'm getting real sick and tired of coming on weapons. Real sick and tired. Hold. Reading an energy spike in the gateway ahead. Something's activating it. Uh, no. There will be no holding. We will fight. Slay any foe that dares to cross our path. Once more under the breach, dear friends. Once more. Henry V. Shut up. I've got no interest in your opinion, Burnham. So keep your mouth shut. Okay, that's not possible. Great! Two of them. I have returned to the time of my greatest failure. It sickens me to see the hell of Iconia in such a state, fed to ruin the barbaric dreads of the galaxy. This time, I shall not fail. Mirren, give me the world heart. Give me the means to rid the cosmos of our enemies. To return Iconia to greatness once more. <sighs> the Excalbians really suck. Because that is impossible. They can't travel through time. It would literally erase all of their memories. I hear the bloodlust in your voice. I see the hatred burning in your eyes. But you do not frighten me. The world heart is ours. We will use it to rebuild what has been lost. Be gone from here, demon. You will not prevail on this day. 
Survived? More than I can say for you. Enemy target There we go. The gateway is ready. Use the console in front to shut it down. Alright, we're shutting down the gateway. The gateway is down, but someone on the other side is powering it back up. Defend yourselves. Keep firing until you kill someone. Signal you when I am ready once more. All right, knock out these enemy gateways. Take out the constructs. Way is ready. Use the console in front to shut it down. All right, Dickhead. Let's the end gateway this. is down, but someone on the other side is powering it back up. Defend yourselves. Yes. Nightmare. 
utterly corrupted by hatred and a thirst for vengeance. But what did she become? I have seen terrible things on this day. The fall of my civilization, of my beloved friends, of the totality of Iconian knowledge and culture. I cannot abide these tragedies. I cannot. Please, you can follow that monster. You can go where I cannot. I beseech you, return the world heart to me. Do not let Iconia fall to darkness. It's not like we have a choice. Into the gateway. I have a really bad feeling about this. Something is amiss, my friends. The trial has taken a life of its own, expanding well beyond its original parameters. <laughs> You think? Though I implored Yarnik and his ilk to bring the trial to an end, they have refused. They wish to see how you address this new crisis. This is ridiculous. If this co if I survive this, and I will, I'm going to drop as many photon torpedoes on Excalby as I can. Tread lightly. There is an ill wind blowing upon this venture. I fear one that may consume us all before the end. Yeah. These Borg, are they an evolution of control? Did someone else try to recreate it later on? No. The Borg originated around a thousand years ago, somewhere around there. They encountered the Vodwar. Oh, we know they existed back then. but. Knowledge about that time is fragmentary, reflective of the Borg of that time. But now they're the most scary assholes in the galaxy. The Iconians, you can negotiate with them. The Zinkethi, you can deal with them. The Herc, sated. But you can't sate the Borg. They will always be the most dangerous threat ever. Not even the Temporal Liberation Front is this bad. Unlikely. The Borg Collective existed well before the creation of Control, although when you add Temporal Manipulation into the equation... No, I already have a headache, and Temporal Mechanics will only make it worse. <laughs> yeah, why am I the only one that doesn't get a headache from Temporal Mechanics? Seven. What we saw on Esau 4 your detailed knowledge of the Borg? You used to be one of them, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I was assimilated by the Borg at a young age and liberated by the crew of the USS Voyager later in life. The assimilation process is reversible, mostly, but it leaves scars, inside and out. I'm sorry that happened to you. And I'm sorry to ask this now. Are we going to have a problem here? With you and the Borg? Under the circumstances, I can see how you could become... emotionally compromised. <laughs> uh, let's put it this way. She assisted in the near destruction of the Collective 32 years ago. I don't think she's going to have a problem killing Borg now. It's a good thing I'm fully equipped. Thompson will kill everything. This isn't the first time I've run into Borg since my liberation, and I doubt it'll be the last. I'll be fine, Commander. If it makes you feel any better, if I go native here, you have permission to shoot me. <laughs> the likeliness of you going native after the Raven? Not likely. Fair enough. Thanks. Any advice on fighting the Borg? Remodulate your weapons often. Use kinetics if you have to. Or in my case, permanently. Right. Combat with the Borg is likely. We need frequency remodulators. Tell me when you want to proceed, and I can open the force field ahead at that time. And because some of you might have any idea what the hell is going on. Borg can adapt their shielding and render weapons ineffective. A frequency remodulator can adjust your weapons to bypass their adaptations and force them to readapt. Not a perfect solution, but it beats having a useless weapon against them. 
or having the perfect weapon. You see, they can't adapt to kinetic weapons. I know, some of you who have watched a few videos on the Borg have gone, well, they can't... You're th talking about Picard. How he used a holographic Tommy gun to kill them. Well, no. While that certainly applies, we have seen people hit Borg ineffectively with rifle butts, and in Worf's case is very successfully with rifle butts and a mechlath. So no, they can't adapt to kinetic energy weapons. And you're probably asking the question, why don't they use shielding against kinetic energy weapons? Well, for that answer, I guide you to the Expanse, where a bullet can easily go through the entire hull of the ship. And a comment from Lee Adama of Battlestar Galactica. There's a reason you don't go shooting in a spaceship, moron. You're liable to hit- you're liable to put a hole in the hull. Don't forget to equip a frequency remodulator. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a frequency remodulator. I have the Thompson. Existence as you know it is over. Ooh. That's cute. Isn't enhancing an Iconian with cybernetics a bit excessive? <laughs> 101. Better assimilation for Hey! Watch out for energizing the second plate the weapons grade plasma. What the hell? What's going on with this? This is new. Heads up! The Borg and those outpost are activating! Yes, I am well aware. Okay, that was utter nonsense. What was that? They were dragging my feet! That is new! Oh good, Hakeem's dead. Undine were a pain. Die. Just die already. Oh, good. I don't like where this is heading. The Borg. They're relentless. <laughs> this is new information to you! Welcome to the 25th century, you stupid bitch. 
Time's a factor here. The longer the Borg have to build their forces and strengthen their position, the harder it'll be to undo their plans. Let's get this over with. Seven and nine. The particle twelve begins. At first, my existence seemed flawed, incomplete. I sought answers, and within the untrials, I found them. Oh. I was a simulacrum, brought into me by an ex-hobby conceit, to test you that I evolved. Oh. I reject this ex-hobby foolishness. My destiny is my own. Today, my reign begins. <laughs> Please, no. Please, no. I am designated Seven of Nine, tertiary adjunct of Unimatrix Zero One. You will be assimilated. Resistance is few. You know, out of all the Borg there, Seven is the only one that looks This room has automated defenses. Watch where they're targeting. Oh, please. I've done this STF before. I know the drill. What the hell? Not this nonsense again. What? What was that? Well, at least I know one thing. If I'm going down, Burnham's going with me. That is literally the only good thing about this. If I die, she dies. Let, let, let go of me! Let, let go of me! What is that? This is becoming ridiculous. to do the deal with the police this particular nightmare is over. Finally. No, oh, that was thoroughly unpleasant. I confront my past from time to time, but it usually doesn't shoot back. I like this new Seven. She likes to quip. I'll manage. We need to deal with my evil twin and the Queen, however. The thought of them both running free makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> That's an understatement. This is the Queen we're talking about. You know, the Queen bitch of the Collective? in the next room. It could be weapons fire. It's the personal chamber of the Borg Queen. Maybe the Excalbion sent some allies to help out. If so, they might need our help. Want me to lower the field? Can I have the rest of my crew, please? Um... That's the Queen. In a very Resident Evil 4 style, I might add. <laughs> That's... 
the Borg Queen. Or what's left of her. Indeed. This is damn peculiar. If the Excalbians killed her, where are they now? Be careful. Whatever did this could still be around, and it might not be friendly. Thanks for the understatement, Seven. Uh-oh. Not sure if this is better or worse than what Control had planned. Pretty sure it's worse, but I'm a little biased. How timid you are. So frightened of perfection. Last time I checked, we're not the ones hiding in the dark. That's a good point. Here's another. You are obsolete. Older. Weaker. Inferior to me in every way. Inferior to you? You're a pathetic copy of me hiding behind a legion of drones. You're weak. Tell me, why are you on here? There will be no struggle, no resistance. You're a smart girl, you'll figure it out eventually. How predictable. How human. Oh. We know where that half ends. Futility. Um. Okay. And a new nightmare begins. Just when you think it can't get any worse. Watch the floor! Enemy target. Thank you, I am aware. And... That's it. Alt 2, getting out of here. Kindly die. Oh, great. She can shield herself. This and like now that. they have a cybernetic dinosaur. What? Oh. Shooting now, xenobiology later. Great! Cybernetic born. That's just the last thing I need. <laughs> Get away from me. Get hit. Hey. Come down from there so I can kill you. More automated defenses are coming online. Great. Turrets. And I would like to know exactly whose idea it was to... Whoa. This is becoming tiresome. In fact, this is becoming more than tiresome. Die already. Why do you struggle? I am work. I am eternal. My victory is inevitable. <laughs> Whoa! That's... How is she still functional? You don't want to know the answer to that question. There's so much more to me than you could possibly imagine. Go with me. Whoa, boy! All right, you Mendez ripoff. Time to die. Personal shield losing power. In case you're wondering, that's from Resident Evil. Die already. That was just plain dumb. This entire s this entire thing is dumb. Can't even move. You are small. You lack harmony, cohesion, greatness. It will be your hunt. Oh no. Really? Whose ass just got kicked again? <laughs> I like the book. You are done here at last, my friend. I love, I love Picard Seven. She is the best evolution of Seven. Snarky, with an attitude. I love it. I'm glad you're still with us, my friends. 
I'll ask you to come with me. Yarnik wishes to speak with you, and time is short. Oh, you have no idea how ridiculous this is. You want. The evidence in the trial is clear. Adherents of evil will stop at nothing to ensure their victory. Nothing is sacred. No law is absolute. In comparison, the proponents of good are made weak by their morality and other self-imposed limitations. They lack the freedom to achieve their goals at all costs. This is ridiculous. Those troops are coming from previous trials. And therefore, Ridiculous. Sorry about that, I had to alt tap to regain control. A couple of keys got stuck in so sense now. to have your own bull bite you in the ass. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. The Borg Queen of our creation is amassing greater power. This includes the assimilation of this planet and everything on it. We must consider our alternatives while there is still time. <laughs> We should take care of that Borg ship while we can. Can we leave Burnham here, please? Apparently not. President Lincoln has asked me to assist him with something. If I don't see either of you again, it has been an honor. All right. Let's do this. is assimilating the Excalbians one by one. If she's not stopped, it's only a matter of time before she learns to use their matter-shaping powers. <laughs> if it weren't for that, I'd be content to letting them get assimilated. I've had enough of their bullshit. That's right, I'm starting to curse. To use the heavy-duty curses at that. Difficult to say. She will learn to replicate well-known patterns first, like Borg ships. It could take her much longer to learn to make entirely new things, or to create things from imagination and memory. Uh-oh. Um... So, Borg. Warning.
you don't mind, but I brought some friends. This is Captain Jonathan Archer of the Starship Enterprise. Yes! Prepare to attack all hands battle stations. Yes! Let's make sure history never forgets the name Enterprise. Yes! There's an old saying, fortune favors the bold. Well, <laughs> I guess we're going to find out. I think it's time to do a little assimilating of our own. Huh? Yes! Still think resistance is futile? Your Majesty? Okay, I disapprove. You're a tragic collection of relics and fools. The first of many to die. While I do not approve of Discovery being there, I approve of everything oh, else. Fire! Let's kick some ass. All Enterprises! Let's kick some ass!
surprises. On my way. Yeah, the queen to kill. should have let you die. But it was either that or letting the rest of the galaxy fall to this creation of yours. You have given us much to consider and to understand. You have shown us that it is not good to subject others to dangers that we are not willing to face ourselves. Let us meet face to face one last time and resolve these matters. This has certainly been a learning experience for me as well as the Excalvians. More for the Excalvians. I hope they realize never to try this again. I saw what I was and what I could have been, which makes me grateful for the life I have now. Still, this experience should make the next session with my counselor interesting. <laughs> in the meantime, that sensor grid and the trailer system will need some final adjustments. If you can get me back to my runabout, I can finish those. I can also speak to some Fenris Rangers about looking into the Orion smuggling activity in trailers. Unofficially, of course. For Rus and the Allfather! Sounds like Yarnek and his people have a lot to think about. I hope they mean it when they say they're going to pursue goodness. As for me, it's strange being... What did the Borg Queen call it? A simulacrum? A copy. And an incomplete one at that. Oh, it only took you... two hours to realize this? I'm based on a Starfleet science officer. I was going to figure it out sooner or later. Now that I know, I've decided to continue what was started here today, in my own way. I've asked the Excalbians to make my transformation permanent, and they've agreed. So, for the Excalbians, the trials are over, but for me, the human adventure is just beginning. I'm gonna toss you into that lava. I'm just gonna toss you into the lava and be done with it. If you don't mind, I could use a ride to the nearest Alliance Starbase. I'd like to speak with Starfleet Command about reactivating my commission. Among other things. Um, no, 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 no. Reactivating your commission is a mistake. It's been quite some time since I had to go into combat. It was an honor to fight by your side. The Excalbians have asked me to remain as I am now, and to serve as an ambassador for this planet. These people have a great deal to learn about the universe, and I believe the Alliance can help them with that. And, having some experience as a statesman, 
I might be able to make that process a little smoother for all parties involved. <laughs> Should you return here, you will be most welcome. You've done all of us on Excalbia a great service today. One we will never forget. And for that, I thank you. Until we meet again, my friend. Farewell. <laughs> I hated most of this mission. That final battle, though, that was the best. The advocates of good return. We have learned much from your efforts in the trials. We did. After reviewing the events, we have decided to rule in favor of the concept of good. We will. As we have ruled in favor of good, the people of Excalvia will pursue those virtues from this day forward. I want off this bloody planet. What do I think about the mission? I hated it. I hated everything prior to fighting that octagon. A uh, diamond, whatever. Well, for now, I'd like to put some distance between myself and Excalbia. <laughs> Returning to Earth, catching up on what's happened since 2257? <laughs> Sounds like a good place to start to me. I understand that an old friend of mine is on a similar journey now. I'll get in touch with Commander Stamet soon. I'd love to get his unique perspective on things. There's a lot waiting for me out there. Thank you for helping me get the chance to discover once again. Jump in a sun and die, Burnham. Jump in a sun and kindly die. Housecoat Gaming. Annoyed, pissed off, and signing off.